Good afternoon. It is my profound and sad honor to join in paying tribute to a spiritual giant of our city, Reverend Cecil Williams. I'm deeply grateful to his beloved children, Kim, Albert, and Tian, and his darling grandchildren for the opportunity to participate in today's memorial and for sharing Reverend Williams for us for so long. Thank you. The name Cecil Williams is synonymous with the Gospel of Matthew. For when I was hungry, you gave me food. I was a stranger, you welcomed me. I was naked and you clothed me. I was sick and you cared for me. I was in prison and you visited me. Indeed, throughout his entire life, Reverend Williams made it his mission to empower those marginalized, forgotten, and in need. From marching for civil rights, to protesting the war in Vietnam, to combating the crack cocaine epidemic, to caring for those with HIV AIDS, to presiding over same-sex weddings long before they were legal, to name just a few examples of his extraordinary impact. And we're all grateful to Cecil for his greatest gift to our city of San Francisco, Glide Memorial Church, which he founded alongside his beloved wife and partner in service, Janice Mirakatani. Janice Mirakatani was a poet and a gracious lady, and it was a joy to know her. Their love was a wonder for all of us to behold. Under their leadership, Glide blossomed into a beacon of faith, love, and redemption, a community of compassion and radical inclusivity in the heart of the Tenderloin. Today, more than 11,000 San Franciscans of all faiths, races, ethnicities, ages, genders, gender identities, and sexual orientations are proud to be part of Glide's vibrant, diverse congregation. And how grateful we are to Glide for the commitment to social justice. So many Bay Area families depend on Glide for nutritious meals, affordable health care, treatment for substance use, support for survivors of domestic violence, and much more. For his saintly works, Reverend Williams was not only respected, but revered. He was a clarion voice for justice, yes, with soaring sermons that would move you to action. But it was also the life of the party with an easy smile that would brighten your day and unyielding love for his family. Well, I'm sad that I cannot be with you in person today because my grandson's college graduation it was my honor to submit a statement into the congressional record to pay tribute to Reverend Williams' lifetime of leadership and service, and Christine is there to deliver it today. May it be a comfort to all of his loved ones that so many San Franciscans pray for them during this sad time, and that Reverend Williams' teachings will live on in the hearts of all those who are blessed to have known him. Thank you. May he rest in peace.